Hello, everyone, and welcome to Shavlik Protect. My name is Joe Andert, and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Shavlik Protect to scan and patch your virtual machines. So, let's get started. Shavlik Protect can scan for and deploy patches to the virtual machines in your network, regardless of whether they are online or offline. The first step is to define your virtual machines in a machine group. This sample machine group currently contains one physical machine and one virtual machine template. Now, the recommended best practice is to create groups of similar machines, and some organizations may prefer to create a machine group that consists of nothing but virtual machines. But for this demo, I've included a physical machine in the group in order to point out that it is possible to include all machine types and to show how the program identifies the different machines. What this group doesn't currently have is a virtual machine. So let's add a couple that are hosted on a server. In this case, let's add a 64-bit Windows Vista virtual machine and a Windows Server 2012 virtual machine. The virtual machines are identified by unique icons, enabling you to distinguish them from physical machines and from virtual machine templates. The two virtual machines I just added were automatically provided with browse credentials, the credentials used by the server to enumerate machines. You should also add administrator credentials, the credentials used to authenticate to the individual machine. With the credentials set, I am now ready to scan the physical and virtual machines in this group. The operations monitor is used to track the status of the scan. You view the results of virtual machine scans the same way as physical machine scans. The default view is Scan View, which can be used to review the results for the four machines that were scanned. Note that if the virtual machines were powered on at the time of the scan, the program will treat the virtual machines the same as a physical machine and will use a physical machine icon to represent the machines. Another way to review the results is to use Machine View. To view patch results for an individual virtual machine, simply select that machine. If you select a missing patch, information about that patch is displayed in the lower pane. Before deploying patches to a virtual machine, you should verify that your deployment template specifies the proper snapshot options. For example, this sample deployment template specifies that a snapshot should be taken of the virtual machine before any patches are deployed, and that any snapshots older than two days should be deleted. You initiate a patch deployment to a virtual machine or to a virtual machine template the same way you do to a physical machine by using the right-click menu. It's what happens after you initiate the deployment, however, that is slightly different for physical machines versus virtual machines. When and where the program performs the deployment is largely dependent on where the virtual machine resides the current power state of the virtual machine, and on whether you are performing an immediate or a scheduled deployment. 
I won't go into all the different nuances in this video, but if you are interested in the details, please refer to the help file. For now, I'll demonstrate the process by deploying the first patch in our list. Here I'll select the sample deployment template that we looked at earlier. And, as usual, the operations monitor will show the status of all the steps in the deployment process. Deployment results for virtual machines are viewed in the exact same way as physical machines. For more information about Shavlik Protect, go to the web URL shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shavlik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.